This tiny little steam engine was made by a guy called Paul Cooper in Ireland. And when I say tiny, I mean tiny. Now I know it works from compressed air, I've tried it, but this is the first time I, I'll have steamed it. Now the maker recommends the boiler should be his optimum of about half full. Now I've measured it to five millilitres full capacity. So to be on the safe side I'm going to put three millilitres in. It has a tiny little vaporising mess burner. I'm in a bit on start with. Here we go. Hmm. It started off well. to take the uh, burner out. I'm not quite sure what's uh, gone wrong here. <laughs> right, it seems to be spewing out all the water. Trying again with just 
two and a half millilitres of water, which is the boiler half full, which is what the, uh, the maker recommended. Maybe I was being a bit over cautious in putting three millilitres in. Trying a slightly different tack here. I've closed the steam valve completely and I'm going to wait until it gets free of the steam until the safety valve lifts before I try and open the valve, try and start the engine. Right, well the safety valve is just uh, lifting now. didn't seem to make any difference. Still seems to be spewing out all of the water. Ah oh, well. suspicion it's out of water oh well that's a bit disappointing isn't it I suspect this is this may have to be a an air only engine just to prove that it does work on compressed air I've connected it up to my compressor here Full speed. Regulator works quite well. works to, down to a respectably slow speed for a tiny engine like this. Yeah, so I'm compressed air. I'm quite happy with that. The engine itself works very well. It's a pity that uh, it's not quite as successful 
and steam. I suspect that uh, the steam pipe goes too far down into the boiler 